you guys my makeup collection. I know you guys have been requesting it for a very long time and the reason why it took me so long is because I had to make sure that I decluttered everything and that I organized everything and got rid of anything that I didn't want or that I wasn't going to use and give it to my, my friends, my family, and of course to you guys too in a lot of giveaways that I've had. I have snuck in like lip glosses and mascara and other things that obviously have never been used or opened before but um, if you guys win one of my giveaways I always sneak in like a lipstick or a lip gloss or something like that um, and that is because I only want to have the things that I actually use um, so I do have more than the average person who collects makeup maybe I don't have like a crazy huge collection but I'm very happy with it it's finally all organized and everything like that um, so yes it is in my glam room this is my glam room I'll have a glam room tour if you guys are interested in it I'll have a link down below um, but this is my makeup collection Welcome to my glam room. This is where I do my hair, makeup, crafts, office, I mean clothes, where I keep my shoes, everything like that. And I do have a full glam room tour. That was a text message, but I do have a full glam room tour as well as like my vanity tour or where I work and also where I keep all of my DIY supplies like um, different kinds of tools that I need. Also, I love planners and writing down my agenda and that is where I keep like all of my stickers, washi tape and sticky notes and all of that. So I have a separate video for that if you guys want to check it out. But this right over here is my makeup collection. So I have all of my makeup right here and also here as well. So this is my vanity. I'm going to show you what makeup I have inside of there. And this is what I have inside of my vanity. These are the ones that I reach to more often and use on a daily basis. So over here I just have some M Cosmetics. I have the MAC, um, the Riri by MAC or MAC um, bronzer palette. I have some Tarte. Those are gifts from my friend Rhonda. And then I have this eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild which I absolutely loved as well as this blush which is super pretty from Wet n Wild. And then I just have some blushes. That's my phone by the way. It keeps going off. And then I just have my eyelash curlers, mascaras that I like to use. Some of my favorite are like these this one, it's called the Roller Lash Mascara. I have tons of Maybelline mascaras, those are my favorite drugstore ones. And then I just have some makeup sponges here. In this little section, I keep all of my eyeliners and like eye products, like I guess eye, eye pencils and um, liquid eyeliners and all of that stuff. Right over here, I have my um, foundations and concealers as well as powders. I love translucent powders or transparent powders, so I keep those there. These are all of my powders that I love to use. Some of my favorite are like this one. I don't know why I haven't gotten rid of this since it's almost gone. Um, but that's one of my favorites. And then I have this one from Benefit Cosmetics, my bronzer. And then let's see, some lip products just because I like to put on chapstick before I apply any type of lipstick on or anything like that so it doesn't dry out my lips. And then I have this really pretty bag inside are the Sonia Kesha brushes. And then I just have some more palettes here. I have all the naked palettes and this right over here are my go-to lipsticks. They are from Wet n Wild and I actually went out and bought every single one online. And I just love them so much. And this was before I became a Wet n Wild brand ambassador, which is really cool. So I have all of the, um, I think they're called like the Mega Last, but they're amazing. And then right over here, I just have a bunch of brushes. And these are some of my favorite ones. They're from my friend Stephanie's shop online, and they're just so gorgeous. Okay, so let's put this back, and I'll show you guys what's in my other drawer. So this is the Alex 9 drawer drawers from Ikea and they're extremely helpful and I love how much storage it really brings to my room because I need a lot of storage. So this canvas I got from, I forgot, oh Bed Bath & Beyond and it was I believe $35 or $40, something like that but I love the colors on there. This little birdcage right here is from my wedding and that's where I kept the cards and then I just have some jewelry boxes on top of there. And in here I have a bunch of receipts. Um, I love the bag. I, Tory Burch is definitely one of my favorite brands. Um, so I kept this bag and as you guys can see there that's where I keep my receipts if I have to return anything or anything like that. And then right over here I just keep this little jar full of my nail polishes and these are my SD nail polishes. I do have a drawer full of other nail polishes that I have. Um, oh, and 
this one got in there too. In this picture frame, I have my tags from my collection with Market. I love that it has like my signature and everything like that. I helped design it and this is just really special to me. This is where I keep all of my Market collection items. It has its own special little corner um, where I like to keep them. And then this is just like a reminder of good things can happen if you put your, you know, hard work into it. So in this top drawer, I have random items and hair products so we're gonna skip that one for now and in the second drawer this is what I have in this bag I keep my eyelashes I just have a bunch of different eyelashes in there and then in the back here I have some items from proactive when I shot with proactive um, on their channel and then I just have just a bunch of random goodies in there and then I have these brushes that I showed you guys earlier these are from Stephanie's online store and these are just absolutely gorgeous and I also have her eyelashes as well just because they're definitely my favorite they look so natural and pretty on in the third drawer I have random makeup brands over here I have all of my liquid foundations including these um, this is actually a powder foundation but this is from Bare Minerals and then I just have a little bit of everything like Shu Uemura I have Makeup Forever and then this is L'Oreal and then over here I just have eyeshadows and some lip balms from different brands I have Milani right here and then I have like MAC over on this side and then just some random things and then I have ColourPop right over here and then I have Bare Minerals and just other random items. The fourth drawer is my absolute favorite one and that is because this is filled with all different kinds of lip products. Absolutely love it. I try to organize it as best as I can. These don't really stand up. But over here I just have like some Tarte, what are they, like lip crayons over here. And then this is all... I want to say Rimmel London, yep, these are all Rimmel London on this side, and then I just have different brands over here, like L'Oreal, CoverGirl, Milani, I have Revlon, MAC, Sephora, some random brands, um, like Forever 21, and this is Hikari. That came in my Ipsy bag, and then I have Bare Minerals, and then more Revlon over here. These are like the lip crayons, and these are from... Wet n Wild. Then I have all of my lip pencils in this little corner and they are all from NYX. They have the absolute favorite, or absolute favorite, they have the absolute best um, lip liners and I just love them so much. And then over here I have some Room of London, some Too Faced, and I have both of the LA Girl and the Too Faced, like the melted kind of lip glazes. That's what it's called, lip glaze, and these are the melted kisses or something like that. And then these are all Revlon color crayons, or what are they called? Like. I don't know, how, lip stains or something like that. My next drawer is all dedicated to Maybelline and I am just completely obsessed with Maybelline products. One of the best drugstore products that you will ever find and I am a brand ambassador for them that's why I have so many of them um, so over here I have different colored foundations and I like to keep these only because when my friends come over I do their makeup and I like to have a variety of different colors that I can use on depending on their skin tone of course and then I have BB creams the sticks and then I just have all of their eyeshadows right over here um, blushes right over here and these are this one is actually one of my absolute favorite blush or not blush bronzer um, and I don't know where I can find them I've been trying to find another one for my friend and I cannot find them and then right here I have their nail polishes which are so pretty this one is one of my absolute favorite nail polishes look how gorgeous that is I think these were limited edition this one is called ultraviolet I may be mistaken and these might be available in store but absolutely obsessed with this color nail polish especially for spring and then I just have like their lipsticks here the matte like different kinds that they have and then these are the elixir lip glosses which look like a lipstick inside I think it's pretty cool but I absolutely love everything that's in here and this is like my go-to drawer and this is I think one of the bigger ones here in this drawer it's all dedicated to Rimmel London and Wet n Wild I'm also a Wet n Wild brand ambassador that's why I do have quite a few items from them and I try to keep it as organized as possible I couldn't get it any more organized um, so I have a lot of their eyeshadow palettes and honestly these are some of the best quality for such an amazing price they're so inexpensive and then back there I have some palettes this is like Too Faced palette and I just have some other palettes I have some Wet n Wild 
Wild brushes, um, their mascaras that I have right there, and then these are the um, like BB creams and foundations from Mermal London. These are blushes. They're really cool. And then I have tons of different eyeshadows from Wet n Wild blushes and like limited edition items, which are really cool. And then right over here, oh, this is more Wet n Wild. Over here, I have um, like Mermal London products. And then some of my favorite are like these lip pencils, which I like a lot. Um, I think they're really pretty. And then I have, um, I think these are Coastal Scents. So these are not um, Wet n Wild or Rimmel London, but I have their blushes right here and I didn't know where to put them. So I just, they fit nice and snug in there. So that's where I decided to put those. In this drawer right here, it's all dedicated to NYX, and I love this drawer. Um, I'm completely obsessed with lip products, so I'm glad that I have pretty much all of the lip products from NYX. I'm still missing quite a few, um, but I have the majority of the colors that I really wanted. Um, and then I have blushes right here in the back, some palettes over here, brushes. And then over here I have some lip products. This is an eyeliner, which I'm really excited to use. And then some gel eyeliner, and this is, I think, liquid, not liquid foundation, but this is either concealer or foundation. I will find out for you guys. Up and down here I have just a bunch of products that I like to reach for when I'm traveling, like travel size toothpaste. I have a bunch of different um, makeup bags down here, along with little things like q-tips and toothbrush and then I have some brushes that I can just put in my luggage and go of course like contact solution and just a bunch of different random things in there um, so this is very handy for me because I've been traveling a lot lately and then yeah so that is all so I hope you guys enjoyed it and gave you some inspiration on how to organize everything um, also leave a comment below and let me know that if we were to hang out and because I feel like you guys are all my BFFs like I talked to you guys some of you guys I've like texted you that's how close we have gotten and I just feel like we're friends if you guys were to come over and play with like my makeup which drawer would you go to or which drawer would you like to have I'm just curious it's kind of like a weird question um, but I feel like that close to you guys where I could ask you that and be like which one would be your favorite drawer mine is the lipstick of course um, so yeah that is all for this video I'm gonna to stop rambling and I will talk to you guys next time which is this those Mwah. hello loves it's Belinda welcome back to my channel today I want to share with you guys a get ready with me video where you guys get to see a before and after as I share with you guys some of my favorite tips and tricks to doing your hair and makeup and also putting together a really cute outfit what really gets me motivated in the morning to get ready and every single day is being surrounded by all things girly like in my glam room everything is so pretty and feminine and I just love getting ready in here. Like these makeup brushes for example are so cute and I'm going to be using them in today's 